Hello students! So in this video I'm going to talk about metadata and why it's important for me to see the metadata for your assignments and some really surprising information you might not know about that's hidden in every single one of the photos you take. So first off, what is metadata? Metadata is the information that is included in every single one of your photos. As soon as you take a digital photo, all of this information is stored within this file. It's not a separate file. There's not anything you have to do to make sure the metadata is in there. Really, all you have to do is turn in the original photo file. I'll get information like the date it was taken, the type of device you're using, and some other settings that we're going to talk about a little bit later in the semester. So here I have some examples of the changes that happen with metadata if you don't upload straight from your device. So for example, this is just my photo that I took with a phone. Um, it was an HTC phone and we have the information here. This file is the exact same photo for all four of these, but this one I shared through my Google Images um, app and when I downloaded it again, I still had a lot of the information, but now I have this where from, and we do not want to see that because right here it tells me photos.google.com. So I don't know if you downloaded this from somewhere else and then turned it in as your own. This is as an email attachment, and you can see that this where from got really long. Now we have an email attachment. It's telling me Google user content. Uh, so we don't want to email ourselves photos to turn in. That will change the metadata. Last but not least, here's a photo. Here's the photo that I uploaded to Facebook and then downloaded again. And you can see that the information has drastically been changed. I don't have a lot of the information I've had in these other ones. We have these instructions, where from, and right here it tells, tells me facebook.com. So don't download your old photos from Facebook or Snapchat or Insta or whatever. Um, I need your original files. Now, another thing I want you guys to notice is how much smaller this file got compared to these. These methods, the file didn't get any smaller, but with this, it went down to, what, less than a 20% of its original size. So just to let you know, if you wanted to, let's say, print a photo that maybe your friend took and then posted onto um, a social media site, get the original photo from them and don't just take it off the social media site because it'll be way smaller and you'll get a really pixelated image. We'll talk a little bit more about pixels and stuff like that later on, but just an FYI. So why do I need to see this metadata? Well, um, let's look at the program I'm used to look at your photos when I'm grading is called Adobe Lightroom. And here you can see I have information like your settings that you will learn about in the next few weeks. Um, I have information like the date that it was taken, the camera that was used, and such. So this helps me help you. Because if I know the settings and the type of camera you use, I might have some little tips and tricks for you to figure out how to take better photos. Now, of course, I also use the metadata to make sure that you are taking photos for this class. You cannot use photos that you've taken in the past. The point of this class, even if you've taken some great photos in the past, is for you to get better. So if you're not using that information that you're learning week to week to make your photos better, then what's the point of taking this class, right? So your photos need to be fresh, they need to be taken for the specific assignments. So if you turn in your photos, the original files, your metadata should look something like this. Now, if you save it in an app first or do some editing, that app, when you save it, might strip all the metadata. So don't do that. For example, uh, let's see. Right here is a image where the photo metadata has been stripped. If I get files like this from you that has no information like location, the type of camera and settings you used, then I will not grade that photo. You will get a zero for that specific photo. And just a heads up, if you take a screenshot, it will literally tell me that, there's a, that it is a screenshot as well, and there won't be any image information as it's not the same as taking a photo with the camera.
For the last part of this video, I'm gonna talk about location. A lot of your camera phones actually embed the location where it was taken into the file. So I know uh, we're in the age of like dating online and such. So you really want to be careful because for instance, this photo right here, I have a GPS location that I can copy. I can go to Google. I can paste it in and I know exactly where it was taken. Now this can be a little scary if you are maybe sending photos to someone you quite don't know yet um, or something like that. They may be able to find out your information. So if you're sending photos online, um, you really want to make sure that you are saving them in a way that is deleting this extra GPS information. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. Of course, always send me an email if you have any questions.